Hey there. Okay, so in this video, I just wanted to share with you how to record in Zoom. So you'll want to go to zoom.us and um, create an account. And I like to sign in with Facebook because it allows you to change your picture, but you can always change your picture anytime if you don't want to sign in with Facebook. And um, then uh, a little icon comes up here. I don't know if it'll actually show it to me. Yeah, there it goes. Um, and what you do is you hit start meeting and then you can just record here. And I like to use this to record all of my, most of my videos for my courses and stuff. It's really easy to record and it's free. You can also record client meetings or interviews, um, example, podcast interviews or something like that. So what you do then do, um, you go to zoom.us, you sign in and um, go to my recordings and it will be here. Oh, I forgot. You have to actually change your settings to where you, where you want it to record to. Forgot about that stuff. So if you go to my settings, um, recording here, you can say cloud recording and it'll record to the cloud or you can just have it automatically record to your computer. I record to the cloud because I have a Mac that always loses space. Um, anyway, so then you go to my recordings and then you go into the meeting that you want to download and then you hit download and then it will download it onto your computer. So now this meeting is in my computer. So what I want to do is, um, rename it. Uh, active. And then um, what I do is go into YouTube and you go to upload and you say select files and then you can just search for the name of the file or you can, um, if you don't have to do that, if you find it either way. And then um, it will upload it. Now for the YouTube settings, this video will be public. Um, so you can say here unlisted if it's um, for a course or something and you want it to be private um, for challenges and stuff where I have someone opt in, I usually say unlisted. Um, so anyways, you go to, for this one, I want it to be public and I say how I set up my active campaign system and um, so how to organize active campaign tags. Okay, so then what I do is hit publish. Once it's done processing, it'll publish. And then before you leave this, um, you'll want to go to here where it says embed. And if you just copy this, you can paste it onto your WordPress website or any website that accepts HTML and it will put the, the video there for you. You can embed it that way. Some websites, actually the current WordPress right now that I'm using on my membership site allows me to just paste the link of the video and it will actually just, um, it will save the video and embed it. So if you need the embed code, you can use that. Otherwise, just using the link should embed it. But if it doesn't, go with the embed right here. And if you need to change those dimensions, you go to show more and you can just select how you want it to look. So if you want it bigger, if you want it smaller, if you don't want the player buttons, if you do want the player buttons, whatever you want. And then you go to return to editing and that's it. 
So have an awesome day. Talk to you soon. Bye.